Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Essence Janae. Hello to everyone who is new. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting me and keeping on this journey with me. I know it's been one heck of a ride. So in today's video, we are doing this very glowy, bronzed, summer slash spring makeup look. This is basically kind of like my go-to look for the spring and summer this year. I will say that the eyeshadow will probably switch up. The palette will stay the same, but the eyeshadow look itself, you know, does vary. This is just what I chose to go with today. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you love the content that I'm putting out. And also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So without any more talking, let's just get right into it. So of course, I'm already starting with my face moisturized. I just went ahead and used a little bit of this Garnier Skin Active Moisturizer. I really love this stuff. It just feels really refreshing and cooling on the skin, so that's great. So I'm just going to jump right into a primer. So for primer today, I am going to be going in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. It does retail for $52. I absolutely love this primer. I did use it in my Holy Grail makeup tutorial, so if you haven't seen that, definitely make sure you go check that out. The e.l.f. primer that I believe is sold out right now, but it, it's, it's the same as this one. The only difference is it doesn't have the skincare benefit, so if you just want something more affordable and not really looking for that skincare portion of the primer, then definitely make sure you get your hands on the e.l.f. as soon as it becomes available. And I just like to put this in my T-zone area for the most part. And then I will spread it around the rest of my face. Because I'm not putting the Tatcha Silk Canvas literally all over my face, I like to have something else to cover it, whether that be another liquid primer or some kind of priming spray. So recently I went into Marshalls and I picked up the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. I've never seen this spray before, but apparently this is something that they did with Scandinavia. So I'm excited to try this. It's a redness reducing, pore minimizing, oral oil absorbing spray. So I'm definitely excited to see how I feel about this. And it's just like so cooling on the skin. So I'm definitely gonna spray my face down with that. That way I kind of have like a second primer, so to speak. And then we're gonna move right into foundation. So my choice of foundation today is, surprise, surprise, a drugstore affordable foundation. And today's foundation of choice is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation and it's supposed to wear up to 24 hours. I've just been so obsessed and loving this foundation. I had it previously but I had it in a different shade and I went and got a different shade. One that's a little bit lighter. This is Golden Doré um, and it's 312 is the number and it matches me so much better and I don't know if it's like the shade match that makes me love it so much but I have just been loving this. Now this is probably not the best for oily skin, but I just can't, if you set it right, I feel like if you set your makeup right, regardless if a foundation is geared towards oily skin or not, depending on the product, um, if you set it correctly, then you'll be fine. But I've been loving this, so I'm definitely gonna be using this. This foundation reminds me a lot of the Too Faced foundation that I love to use as well, so. I guess if you had to say a dupe for it, I would definitely say the Too Faced one. The only difference is, is that I feel like the Maybelline is a little bit thicker in consistency as to where the Too Faced one is basically a little bit more runny, but not like super runny. And if you guys are curious as to why my brows aren't done yet and I have not done them yet, it's because I have found that it is so much better to apply all my cream products first and then worry about the brows. The finish of that foundation is just so nice and if you just feel like you need a little bit more coverage then you can definitely go back in with another pump. I feel like this foundation is medium to full coverage. For concealer, I am going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting concealer in the shade warm beige i did pick up a new shade because the other one is more my skin tone this one's more brightening and so i feel like i will pick this up a little bit more often now versus using the tarte shape tape i still love the tarte concealer it's just like my holy grail it's my favorite but i i really want to start using other concealers 
So I'm just going to go in with this just like I do any other concealer. I'm going to put that underneath my eye. And I just feel like it's the perfect shade now. And it's not as dark as it was before. So again, I'm just going to take my damp sponge and just look up and just press that into my skin. I like to look up, that way I'm preventing any creases from occurring underneath my eyes. So I figured this is like the best way to blend out your under eye concealer. Just continue to look up and press in. And I like to use light pressure the closer I get to the inner parts of my eye. So you don't want to be pouncing like boom, 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 boom because then it's gonna pick up more product and you want the product and coverage to be there. I am using the Morphe sponge so it does have this straight edge right here and I like to take that and just go really close to my um, bottom lash line and just look up and press. And then do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to set my under eyes right now until I finish the eyes and then we will come back to the face. But I'm gonna use the Derma Blend Banana Powder to set underneath, like just literally just underneath this part of my eye. I just like to press it into my skin as well with the sponge. And I'm not using a brush because I want it to like sink into my skin. So I'm just setting this under eye part and above my lip because I know I'm not gonna use any cream products in that area. And again, setting the under eye is highly important. So now before I move on to the eyeshadow, I do want to do my brows real fast. I am going to do them off camera, but I am going to just tell you guys one thing. I have realized also that I like to use a smaller compact mirror to look into to do my brows. I feel like they come out nicer versus when I'm trying to look in a bigger mirror and do it that way. I mean, it's nice to have a big mirror in front of you and then still using the smaller mirror like this. That way you can kind of go back and forth, you know, between close up vision and far away to see how it looks as a whole. But when you're actually like trying to be detailed and do your brows, I think it's better with the close up mirror. I mean, that's just my preference, my way of doing it. You guys definitely don't have to do it that way, but I just thought I would share that with you guys. Now that the brows are done, I also concealed underneath them and set my lids for the eyeshadow. The palette I am going to be using and have been using is this 35G Morphe palette. I just, like I said in my initial video, like I love this palette. It's so me and I love using it. So the first shade that I'm going to grab from this palette to start off the eyelids is going to be Deserted. And it's like a tan brown kind of shade and I feel like this is like the best transition shade in this palette for me although it doesn't show up super pigmented on my eyes I still love to use it as a transition shade because mostly I want it there just so that the other colors that I use can just blend in seamlessly but I feel like this palette is like the best palette to choose when you really want like a bronze look and bronzed eyes is just so me in the summer and it can be very glam and it can be very subtle however you choose to do it but of course we're doing glam today so we're definitely going to be using mattes and shimmers so as you see more and more as i blend this shadow in the pigment is starting to get more and more darker i mean it's not going to be something super dark but there is pigment in this shadow and it does show up on me, maybe not at first, but as I blend it, it does. So I'm just taking this shadow and I'm just blending it in my crease and then I'm working it up towards my brow bone as I get less and less product on my brush. Now I'm gonna take SBF, which is like a slightly darker brown, but still very warm. And I'm also gonna put that in my crease as well. And I'm not gonna take as much of this shade as I did the previous shadow. Just because you don't really need too much of this. So again the same technique of just blending it out in my crease and then slowly working it up towards the brow bone as the product becomes less and less on my brush or as I have less and less product on my brush. So since I want to create kind of like a halo eye I'm gonna take the shade called tan up in the palette and I'm gonna use this shadow to put on my inner corner as well as my outer corner. So 
so I don't really care to put it in the middle because again this is going to be a halo eye. I don't plan on cutting my crease necessarily with a concealer so I'm going to try to avoid getting as much product in the middle as I possibly can. So I'm just going to work it the best that I can and blend it in the inner corner and then blend on the outer edge as well. If you wanted a extended kind of eyeshadow look even with the halo eye you can definitely do your eyeshadow before the base makeup and put like a tape or something right here just to create that precise clean line or you can drag it out no matter how far it goes it doesn't really matter and then just use concealer just to clean it up and make that straight line today i'm not sure if i'm going to use concealer or not to clean up i'm just going to kind of go with it and see how it turns out i'm going to try my best to like carve it out the way that I want it. I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush just to kind of blend a little bit more. This is just a brush that I received in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. And I really like this brush just to do precise blending like this. On that same brush, I'm gonna take the shade Heat Wave in the palette, which is like a really dark, brown and I'm not going to take too much of this I'm just very little because I do want to darken the outer inner and outer corners of my eye before I place that shimmer shade in the middle so I'm just going to take this shade on the smaller brush that I was using for like the precise blending and I'm going to blend it into my inner and outer corner so as you can see the darker brown darkened up the inner and outer corner just slightly because I didn't use too much of it. Now I'm going to go back into that first brush that we were using for our transition shade and just kind of blend everything seamlessly almost because you do want to make sure that you're blending in between and that everything looks good and not too crazy. So the first shimmer shade that I want to use in the middle is going to be the shade called Sexy Beach and it's like a orange shimmer kind of and I am going to be spraying my brush just with some setting spray this is just the MAC fix plus spray you can also use the Anastasia one honestly it doesn't really matter but I am going to spray my brush down then I'm going to dip into that shadow and I'm going to place it directly in the center of my lid I am taking this shade and I am going all the way up to about my crease area because again, I just want that shimmer to be directly in the center of my eye. So once you build up the orange shimmer shadow as much as you'd like, and it's like the perfect width for you, now I'm gonna take that small blender brush that I was using before and I'm gonna go back into that dark brown shade called Heat Wave, and I'm just gonna place this again on the outer and inner corners just to kind of blend the shimmer shadow with the matte shades. Then again, I am going to take that first blending brush and just blend the crease area out very, very lightly with a light hand. I'm not using too much pressure because you don't want to disturb anything. You just want to make sure that the edges are nicely blended. For the final shade that we're going to use on our eyelid, it's going to be Glow On is the name of the shadow. And it's just like this nice, bright champagne, golden kind of color just to bring some brightness to the eye because that orange shimmer shade does kind of blend in a little bit with the other shadows. So just to give it a little bit of balance, I am gonna dip into that shade, spray it with some MAC Fix Plus spray, of course, and then place it in the direct center of my lid, not all on top of the orange, but like in the center of that orange. I'm also gonna take Glow On, and I'm gonna also pop that in my inner corner as my inner corner highlight. I feel like the lighter glitter on top of the darker glitter just kind of gives it a little bit more dimension to the eye and it just looks really really nice. So of course for my bottom lash line I am going to smoke that out and I'm just going to use all the same shadows that I used at the top at the bottom minus the shimmer shades. I am just going to be using this flat no name brush to do that. I'm not going to bother going in with the transition shade, but I will use the other three shades that we used. So using this flat brush that I had purchased from Amazon, 
I'm just dipping into the palette into SPF and Tan Up together, taking both of those shades and just smoking them out on my bottom lash line. I don't want to make it too, too dark down there. So I'm taking those two shades at first and then on a thinner, more flat brush and more precise, I'm just going to take Heat Wave since it is so dark and press it up against my bottom lash line. So for lashes today, I am going to be using these Ardell 601 Black. That's all that they say and they just look like this. I feel like these are like the perfect lashes for this look. They look really, really beautiful and definitely my type of lash. I have never used these before, so I'm going to be excited to see what they look like on the face. But I feel like it's going to be perfect. So I am going to apply these lashes, but first I'm going to do my other eye off camera. Then I'll apply the lashes and then we can finish the rest of the face makeup. I am loving these lashes, the way that they just fell on my eyes and the way that they look once applied, just so beautiful. Definitely me, love them. So I would definitely probably pick up more of these. Again, these are the Ardell 601 lashes and they just look like this. So to bronze my skin, we're going to skip over contour and just do bronze. That's typically what I do on an everyday basis. I don't really contour that often anymore. I don't know why. I mean, I probably should. The last time I contoured, I loved it. But I'm just skipping over it today, okay? And I'm just going to use the Glam Bronze Morphe palette. And this is in the shade Megastar. So I'm just going to use this to bronze up my skin. I have used this before on my channel as well. I used the eyeshadow palette, but I never used them both together. So that's what we're going to do today. And I just want to add a little flush of color back into the skin. I love this bronzer because it's just so warm and nice on my skin. And I believe this one is for medium to dark skin tones. I think that the other one would be a little too light for my skin tone. Everyone should know by now, I use something totally different for my nose. So I'm just going to use the Hula Benefit Bronzer. And I'm almost hitting pan in this thing to just bronze up my nose slash contour. And I'm just going to use this NYX Makeup Professionals little blending brush just to do that. Now, I'm not a professional when it comes to contouring the nose, but what I do know is that when you are contouring your nose, you do want to make sure that you take it up and underneath your brow just a little bit or else it's going to look weird. So just make sure you lift up that brow and get it underneath there slightly because that gives you a little bit more of a natural contour. So for blush today, we are going to be using another drugstore product, and this is the Wet n Wild Color Iconic Blush and Keep It Peachy. I just really love the orange tones in blushes, so we are going to use that. I'm just going to use this little stippling brush. This is from Equal Tools, and put that on my cheeks. I am going to kind of take it up a little bit because I do like my blush to just be like all in this area. You don't have to do that though. I just, I don't know why I like doing that. A little bit across my nose. And then I'm gonna go back in with my bronzer brush and just kind of blend this all together. Today's highlighter is also drugstore. It is the Hard Candy Just Glow Rose Gold Highlighter. And I'm just gonna use this and just put it on the high points of my cheeks, my nose, my lip, etc. I don't know why I don't use this highlight as often because it is a really nice highlight and I need to use it more. But I am going to use my Fix Plus to spray on my brush. That way it could be a little bit more radiant versus just putting it on straight. You know what I mean? To set all of that, you guys already know, I'm just going to be using the Urban Decay D Slick All Nighter Spray. Absolutely obsessed with this and you know when you just find something that works for you, you just use it so much. So this has definitely been the spray for me. It really, really works. For my lips today, I am, of course, going to be doing a nude. I'm going to start off by lining my lips with this NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade London. Just because it's not too dark, but it's also not too light. So I'm just going to take my little mirror and 
carve out my lips. So nothing crazy, just a little quick lining. And then for the lipstick, I'm so excited. I love this. This is the Marc Jacobs lipstick in 146 Anais. And I swear, it's so perfect. I, I just love this shade, dude. I'm just gonna apply that on my lips. And it's so creamy, so smooth. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished and final look. This is basically what I do during the summer months. Obviously, the palette switches up, you know, the Morphe palette is a little bit of a newer palette, but this is what I'm doing for my go out to glam summer night out, wanna have a good time but still look good type look. This is it. I am so obsessed. So obsessed with the palette, just so obsessed with the look. Definitely, again, loving these lashes, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you go. Definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel, bell notification on, and I will see you guys in the next video or vlog, whichever one comes first. Bye, guys.